Hello, welcome to another video and I'm going to show you my plans for my N-Gage layout. As you can see the Class 101 which I was reviewing in my previous video is uh, currently running around and um, the station in front of you I've um, recently built up um, this station here was built, no sorry it was bought second hand from Hattons and it was uh, £12 um, I mean the reason you know I, I think that's a bargain for what it is so what I intend to do is fit some lights into the building and um, get some posters and sort of bring it to life and of course the platforms are the really reliable and sturdy Metcalf ones and they look great next to the station building there so my plan is for the station area I'm going to build a second platform here so platform 2 will go here uh, as, as you can see I haven't got the tr second loop line yet so I will not be uh, building this curved section of a platform here yet um, it's quite easy to do it once you've got the track, but um, obviously quite problematic without. And yeah, and I will ha eventually have a footbridge going over here. So as we bring you around, um, this this bridge here I scratch built myself out of just A4 card. And I, I loosely based it off one of the bridges. Um, in Manchester, one of the viaduct sort of bridges, and uh, I am really pleased with that. Uh, so uh, all I've done is I've reinforced card with more layers, and uh, I think it looks great. And it just needs a good painting up, and I can really bring that to life. So as we bring you round, uh, I when I, when I was starting, I, I tried the. Scale Scenes Warehouse Kit, which is free. I'm not overly impressed, however, I am aware it could be down to my own technique, which is to improve. But after trying the Metcalf platforms again, I have to say Metcalf definitely has the upper hand and explains the uh, higher price. I, I, I think it's better having the print already on the card rather than having to put it on yourself. Um, I find it quite fiddly particularly with Engage, um, but it will do for now, I can put it in the background. Um, so what I'm aiming for is I'm going to section off this half of the layout for the for what people see and at the back I can store all my Engage trains and the plan is to have the town scene to just be, be about that high so it's in level with that bridge and then I intend to have a road bridge going over here and then a couple of retaining walls going over there where the track eventually goes into a tunnel and that's the plan so far and that's all I can really show you at the moment um, this video is basically more to do with the construction and the construction of the table which I've done and the sort of first beginnings of the layout start to take shape and um, I will have more vi uh, I'll have another video next month uh, to show some progress that I've got done okay well thanks for watching I'll show a couple of close-ups of the train running past thank you and goodbye